Can you guys hear me or did I waste money on the microphone for nothing? Is it on? Oh, it's on. Okay. Hi. If you can hear me, welcome to 2024. I hope you left your old self in 2023 because I'm sick of you while everyone else is sick of you. It has been a really long year. I don't know if it's been the longest for anybody else, but it's just been a terrible of a long year for me. I feel like I learned a lot of things the hard way this year, just in terms of like myself and relationships. I cannot get this one press on nail off and it's so embarrassing. Yeah, but not just myself, like relationships, school, just like in every aspect of my life, I think I realized a lot of things this year. Um, and I think one of the things that I realized and that really helped me realize is I was reading this book. Um, and the book is called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. And as cliche as it is to be like, oh, I have read this book and it like changed me. I feel like it did. Like it just put into perspective a lot of things for me. Like why do I give a fuck about so many things that I, I promise you I don't give a fuck about? Like, it seems like a contraindication of energy. Like, spending so much energy in one place, even though I'm saying I don't care about this thing. So it's like, I really only want to focus on things that I care about this year because I have spent a lot of time focusing on other things. And I, I'm a busy girly. Like, I don't have, like, I don't have, like, you know, idle time. I be working. Well, schooling, you know what I'm saying? So the time that I have to be free I need to be free and not be so consumed with like all these other elements of life, you know? Another one of my goals this year is to get consistent with my content. That was a little hard for me as well. And I'm just going to be very transparent and tell you why. I think a, a lot of other creators could probably relate to this reason I'm going to give you right now. I'm going to put on some of this Lip Injection Max Lip Plumper. I really love this stuff. Only on the center, though. I don't... I don't like the tingling feeling all the way around. Um, I just felt like there was like this aesthetic, this aesthetic thing that was going around. Everybody was doing it, the cream, the tan, the beige. Um, okay, so I did it. My whole house was like cream, tan, beige, black, whatever. I was depressed as fuck. Okay, like I felt like I was living in an estate. Tell them, where is my concealer? Hold insane asylum like i felt like there was no creativity there was no emotion there was just freaking gray walls and clean couches and fucking everything else so i one day woke up and i was like you know what this is just not fucking me so i cannot multitask so i decided to take all that stuff out of my house like i decided that my house was no longer going to be cream and black and white and rattan and whatever the fuck else was you know what i'm saying going right now and that's when i started to fill my house with color but then i was like okay well it's definitely not the aesthetic that everyone's into right now so I don't know if I should do content because everyone's wanting to see one thing, whatever. It was just like a very repetitive cycle of like keeping up with the Joneses. Even though my last name is literally Jones, I fucking couldn't keep up. And some of these trends weren't even what I liked. So I just had to start asking myself like, do you like this? Or when the next trend comes, are you going to want to change it because it's not you? So now my house is like burnt orange, some cream, some wood, some nudes, just whatever color. My bedroom's pink because pink is like, pink is my happy color. Now, I wouldn't want to put it all over my house, but pink is the color that speaks the most to me. So, of course, I want to sleep in it. I want to wake up to it because that is, that's what makes me happy. So that was a really big thing for me. I'm going to use my... I'm not telling you what I'm using. I'm so bad. This is the Chocolates by Juvia Plays. And I just used the basic brown in this palette. I'm going to use my contour now. This is Deep Dark by Pretty Fresh. I like to take this in the hollows of my eyes. Just to give me some 
Depth girl. A deep girl. Another lesson I learned is like, what's for you is for you. And obviously, like, you've seen those quotes on cups, on every fucking piece of fabric that they can put that quote on. You've probably seen it. But I feel like to understand the true meaning of it is different. Especially in this time when it's like you log on social media and you see what everyone else has and you see how fast paced it seems everybody else is moving. Um, But the faster that I feel like you realize that that is a facade is the faster that you become grateful for what you do have. I'm going to use the House Labs foundation in the shade 842, I think. I love this foundation. Just one pump because it's super freaking pigmented um but i mean like as you guys know i'm at nursing school and i have pretty much been on in school the whole time i've been on tv minus like a year and a half that i took a break um so i feel like a lot of times people are like oh well you're not graduated yet or 26 is too old to just now to be graduating and be a nurse like you could have been a nurse when you were 20 something if you 20 something if when you were like young 20s if x y and z and i'm just like reminding myself that like everyone's journey is not linear like yeah i could have been a nurse but i had a baby i got this once in a lifetime opportunity obviously and you know life trajectory was a little different for me but nevertheless I'm back to my roots. I'm gonna set with the 310 Sun Beige from Fit Me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I sing everything. It's just a habit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just felt like 2024, I really was like 2023 was a year of learning for me. 2023 was a year of experiencing hardship, honestly, if you really want me to keep it a buck. Um, and so I feel like when you go through a storm, when you go through a storm, because baby, it was stormy, oh hi, it was stormy, um, the only other side of that is sunshine, rainbow, you know what I'm saying? So, bitch, I'm hoping that's true, because honestly, 2023 whooped my butt cheek, whooped my frig fracking butt cheeks. Um, but I'm hoping this year is better, and I feel like my mindset is better already, just, like, ending last year and going into this year. I wouldn't say, like, December 31st, my mindset changed, but I would say that I was just being cognizant of wanting to go into the year, new year with a new mindset. It's not like a new new year, new me, because I still am working on myself, but it's new year, more realization, new year, more experience, same me, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just where I am. And I, and I, you know, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm getting older, but, you know, I am. I'm getting older. And at first, it's your parents' fault, right? And then somewhere along the lines, it becomes your responsibility to be accountable for, like, your traumas and your hurts and shit. That shit is hard, so... I'm going to use the Fenty Mascara. I swear by this mascara. It's so freak fracking good. Because life is short. And that's what I learned when I lost my brother. Is that you could be here today and you could be gone tomorrow. And like literally tomorrow, like the next second. And what the fuck matters? Like, what the fuck matters? And I don't know if like when someone dies, it's really close to you. Because I never experienced a death like this close to me and so i really hate that it took you know a death for me to like look in the mirror but it's just like you know one of those things where it's like now that i know what's important what am i gonna do with that information am i gonna keep doing the same shit wasting my time arguing over the same shit worrying about the same shit losing sleep over the same shit or am I going to go with the little life that I am guaranteed, which is literally not even two freaking seconds, and fulfill my dreams and goals and, you know, live happy. We deserve to live happy.
and especially in the world that I work in, you know, the, the TV world, because I'm not working as a nurse yet, um, it's very much driven by the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes it can be hard to separate yourself and to say, you know what, this and this isn't worth it. But when you learn that, it's power. This is the Fenty Fussy Heat. I love this Fenty gloss. You can't tell me nothing about this gloss. This is my everyday look pretty much. I am going to sprinkle a little highlight because, I mean, a bad bitch <laughs> naturally is made of gold. Like, there you go. Um, but, yeah. Ah! Please don't shatter. Please don't shatter. I feel like that uh, TikTok, don't, please don't say my name, please don't say my name, Darla. This is my Darla, y'all, and she is holding on. This is um, Whisper of Guilt by, you already know who this is by, Whisper of Guilt by Mac. Now, come on, clock in, sis, okay, clock in. A last little pump, Mario uh, Rosewater, I'm not even going to try to say the last name, Badescu, Baduska, Badu, I don't know. I'm ending this. I'm ending this right now. Bye. Don't call me back. Don't call me back.